welcome to our last kids church guys how are you virtually in your living room again i hope you like my antlers festively brought for you today we have got another action-packed session for us today whenever you're watching this we've got craft we've got horace we've got some um cool stories so sit back and enjoy and just to let you know that this is the last one that will be doing like this there will be one posted on the 23rd but there won't be any craft or uh, Horace in that one. So, but sit back, you can enjoy this one and look forward to the next one. We're also doing a carol service on Zoom on the 22nd, which we'd love you to join in. So email Church at gmail.com if you've got any questions about anything. Otherwise, have a great Christmas. See you soon. journey hasn't it, it Hannah? has we have been on a real journey haven't we messy church it has been fun it has been good i hope you've enjoyed it um but there's more to come hang on there and wait with us but how are you hannah how are you doing i'm well i'm well i'm getting very excited for christmas are you messy church it's not long now is it it's getting closer and closer it is it is and school holiday is going to happen as well so all coming up very soon how exciting so Josh, can you remember what we have looked at so far on our Advent journey? I will try and remember, and I'll try and tell you what, but um, um, can you, Messy Church, can you remember what we've done so far? Bet you can. Well, we looked at the first candle, it was just about hope, wasn't it? Hope. Hope that we have in, in the love of Jesus for us, love of God for us. Um, then we did... Um, l love, we, yes we did love. love, love that Mary had for, uh, towards God and how much she was devoted towards him. And then we had joy, joy. and it was the joy of the shepherds, wasn't it? How joyful they were. Um, what's the fourth one, Hannah? Hmm, I guess that leaves one candle. Uh, no, we've no? got two candles left. Two more candles? Yes, this Ooh. today we're going to light one, okay. and then the last one we light on Christmas Day. Christmas Day, so that must be a very special candle. It is a special candle. It's to remind us of Jesus' birth. Fantastic. Hannah, the wait is almost over. Almost. Nearly there. But before we go anywhere else, I have got a present for you. Another present? I am so happy, Messy Church. I thought we might be getting another one. Are you ready? I am so ready. And your present's coming your way. Woo! Woo! Courtesy of Royal Mail. Courtesy of Royal Mail. Thank you. Ooh, I wonder, Messy Church, if this is going to be another clue to what our Advent journey is about today. <gasps> Have a look. What does it say? Peace. Peace. So our next Advent candle is the candle of peace. Yes, it is. And before we go anywhere else, I think we're going to light the candle first. So I'm going to pass it on to our next family who will be lighting 
an advent candle of peace for us. Fantastic. And if you're lighting one at home, make sure you have a grown up with you. Dear God, thank you for your peace. Thanks that when life is all crazy or busy, even hard, we can find peace in you. Thank you that you want us to be peaceful and enjoy our lives. Help us to remember that peace this Christmas time and remember you, Jesus. Please also help those who will struggle this Christmas. Let them know your peace is with them. Keep us all safe. We pray. Amen. Fantastic! Thank you so much for lighting our fourth Advent candle of peace. Peace. So now we have had the candle of hope, of love, of joy and of peace. Exciting. Um, Hannah, why do we find ourselves outside the castle again? We're outside the castle again because it's time for us to go on the next part of our Advent journey. Looking forward to it. Shall we go through those gates Let's again? Let's go. Brilliant. Are you ready, Let's do Mr. It. Church? Are you ready to follow us? Let's do it together. Hannah, do you want to go first? Go first. Hannah's gone through. It's my turn. Are you ready? Come on, follow me. All those who are left behind. Come on. Now we are outside this amazing door again. There's a door. I wonder what's behind it. Shall we find out? Are you ready, Mr. Church? Are you going to help us push? One, two, three. Ooh. It's a bit chilly. But it is. this is amazing, isn't it? We've gone to the stores into the castle garden. Into the castle garden. It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, do you like going outside? Well, I absolutely love being outside, going for walks. And also, these type of gardens really give me a sense of peace. Wow, I love being outside and enjoying God's beautiful world. It is amazing, isn't it? It reminds me of God's wonderful creation. How amazing he is that he's created such a wonderful place for us. Absolutely. And I don't know about you, Mr. Church, but I love to be outside at night and look up and see all the beautiful stars in the sky. The three wise men went on a very special journey following a very special star. But that journey wasn't a very short journey. It was a long, long journey following that star. Wow, they would have had to persevere and have peace in their heart. Yes. What a journey to see Jesus, the King of the whole world. The King of Peace. Um, but I'm really interested in seeing their journey. Shall we go and see what their journey actually looked like? Let's take a look. The Wise Men When Jesus was born in the village of Bethlehem in Judea, Herod was king. During this time, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and said, Where is the child born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was worried, and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. Herod brought together the chief priests and the teachers of the law of Moses and asked them, Where will the Messiah be born? They told him, He will be born in Bethlehem, just as the prophet wrote, Bethlehem in the land of Judea. You are very important among the towns of Judea. From your town will come a leader who will be like a shepherd for my people Israel. Herod secretly called in the wise men and asked them when they had first seen the star. He told them, Go to Bethlehem. Search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, let me know. I want to go and worship him too. The wise men listened to what the king said and then left. 
and the star they had seen in the east went on ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They were thrilled and excited to see the star. When the men went into the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, they knelt down and worshipped him. They took out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh and gave them to him. Later, they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod. And they went back home by another road. The wise men followed a very special star, but they also persevered. They had that peace in their heart while they were following that star. Because they were going to see the king, the amazing king. That amazing king, the king of peace, Jesus. The king of the whole world who came to earth as a tiny baby. A tiny little baby. Jesus was born on this earth, born for a very specific purpose. That purpose that God had for him. And that was to come and live on this earth to show us the way to God. But not only that, Hannah, he also died for our sins on the cross. He was the king of the whole world. You mentioned a word there, Josh. Sin. What does that mean? Well, um, it's just no way of saying the bad things that we think and do. So Jesus came and he died on the cross for our sins, wow. the wrong things that we do and the wrong things that we think. Uh, it's like he took the punishment for us. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yes. Jesus wiped away all of the bad things that we've done. He wiped away our sins, the wrong things that we do. So that when we say sorry, he wants to forgive us and he does forgive us. But that does also mean that we try not to do it again. But three days later, it's the Easter story, we hear about him rising from the dead so that we have hope in him. Isn't that amazing message, Church? And I don't know about you, but that helps me to feel peace in my heart knowing that Jesus loves me that much and knowing that he is with me. So let's do our craft. Today we're going to make Christmas cards for people that we might have forgotten. You can make any card at home. It's really easy. Just grab some paper, fold it in half and do any design you want. This is one that my son made for us earlier and we just used sponges, three big sponges and done some arms and you've got a snowman. Isn't it great? You can write any message inside. Happy Christmas. God bless. Stay safe. Love you. Miss you. Anything you want. But happy Christmas card making and happy Christmas to you. Hi guys, let's pray to close. Are you ready? To glue your shoulders. Remember the drill? When I say one, shoot and I'm out. Two, fold them and three, I'll pray. Ready? Listening for number? Didn't say anything. One. I think you can be quicker than that, ready? One. Two, three, Father God, I thank you that Christmas is coming, that you were born and we can celebrate your birthday. Thank you that you came for us to set us free, your rescue plan. And this journey that we've been on to find the King, Lord, it is you. And we praise you for being our King. Help us this week. Help us to know your peace, your love, your hope, your joy. And most of all, help us help celebrate you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thanks for joining us again. I hope you enjoyed today's video that tells us all about God's peace. God's peace. It has been fantastic to spend the last four weeks with you, Messy Church, and it's not over. Well, on the 23rd, at 10 o'clock, we're going to have our last video. Very exciting. We're going to be lighting our last Advent candle. So watch this space. Watch it and find out more what that actually resembles. On the 23rd of December, we are going to have Christingle packs. 
Wow. Ready to collect, and then you can make your own Christingle yes. at home. That would be so much fun. I love Christingles. I think it'll be a great way to kind of start the whole Christmas celebrations, isn't it, Hannah? Absolutely. And even better, on the 24th, Christmas Eve, at 4 o'clock, we are going to be having a Christingle Zoom service. A Zoom service? Oh, I can't wait for that. That would be so much fun, wasn't it? It will be fantastic. All the information is on our Facebook page. We look forward to seeing you really soon, Mercy Church. Take care and God bless. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Come on, Hannah, we're gonna go. Oh. Have you ever been able to count all the stars, Hen? No. <laughs> Why not do it again? Otherwise, it would be like taking a mic, isn't it? <laughs> yes. The whole world. And 